Hello and welcome to another exciting paddleboard review. Today it's time to check out the Moai 11 All-Rounder. All-Rounder board sounds boring, doesn't it? Completely wrong, at least if you take another look at the Moai 11 All-Rounder. Because this board offers a lot, which makes it clearly different from the well-known wide and round beginner models. Starting with the dimensions, to the shape and construction, to the feature and accessories, the model has a few surprises waiting. Since 2016, we have been extensively testing everything possible around the topic of paddleboarding and would like to share our passion for the sport with you. That's why we always try to present you with all the information you need to know in a concentrated form in our videos. Our goal is that everyone can find the right board for them, regardless of their previous experience. Moai has provided us with this paddleboard free of charge for our review. If you find that the model is perfect for you, you can find out the current price via the link in the video description. In case of a purchase, we get a small commission, which allows us to finance our test projects in the future. Of course, your price will not change. For an all-arounder, the Moai 11 comes along quite sporty. At 335 by 76 by 15 centimeters or 11 inches, 30 inches by 6 inches, it is not only slightly longer, but also a good deal narrower than many other models in its class. This, of course, promises a much better and faster glide. In addition, the shape with a rather pointed, upwardly curved nose and straight tail also does not quite match the cliché of a classic all-rounder board. Completely characteristic, on the other hand, is the 2 plus 1 fin setup with removable center fin in the US box system. This variant is very good for maneuverability and tipping stability. The kick pad at the tail also makes spectacular turns possible. The overall running characteristics are therefore ideal for very ambitious beginners and sporty advanced paddlers who are looking for a compromise, hybrid, between an all-rounder and a touring board. The load capacity is very well sufficient for paddlers up to 110 kilograms, approximately 243 pounds. Up to this limit, the performance of the board can fully be exploited. The manufacturer even specifies a maximum load capacity of 150 kilograms, approximately 331 pounds, but this will certainly cause the board to sink very deeply and make it much less fun. The Moai 11 All-Rounder is made with the help of the modern thermofusion technique. In this construction, two thinner layers of PVC are fused together under high pressure and heat. This manufacturing reduces the board weight and still ensures a very high stiffness. In the core, you will find the traditional drop-stitch threads that connect and stabilize the upper and lower part. Thanks to this technology, the weight of the Moai all-round is a light 9 kilograms, 20 pounds. This value is really low considering the size and the high-quality material construction of the board. The transport and handling succeed without any problems, and a trolley backpack is also included, which makes things even easier. The Moai 11 all-rounder offers some features that make the paddler's life easier. Deck pad. The optically three-divided standing surface is made of a soft and anti-slip EVA foam and offers a good grip with the so-called diamond structure. Free D-ring. At the very back of the tail, behind the valve, there is a large and stable D-ring for attaching the included coil leash. Central carrying handle. In the middle of the board is a soft neoprene handle. Here is also the so-called sweet spot, showing you the most stable stance position. Two plus one fin setup with removable center fin. The two smaller side fins are firmly glued and the large center fin is removable via the US box system. With this system, the fin is attached to the rail with a small screw and threaded plate. Luggage net. Towards the nose, there is an elastic and adjustable deck net, which is attached to four further D-rings. Here there is enough space for equipment and supplies, which you can best protect from water in a dry bag. Kick pad. This elevation in the rear area of the deck pad can be used for quick changes of direction and turning maneuvers. When you shift your weight to this point, the tip lifts out of the water and you can easily turn the board. The extensive accessory package of the Moai 11 All-Rounder fits qualitatively well to the board and includes the following equipment. SUP Trolley Backpack The high-quality and color-matched trolley backpack features the same design elements as the board. It is equipped with two carrying handles and padded adjustable straps. There are also multiple straps inside and out to secure the contents. In the larger rear compartment with a zipper, you can store the board and accessories. The small zippered front compartment is optimal for smaller items, fin, keys, valuables, etc. The backpack trolley with its off-road wheels makes transport very easy. It makes a very good and durable impression. Fiberglass paddle. The shaft of this three-piece model is made of fiberglass and the 19.5 centimeter, 7.6 inches wide paddle blade is made of sturdy plastic. Here, too, you'll find the characteristic tribal print that you already know from the board and the trolley backpack. The paddle is infinitely adjustable from 175 to 215 centimeters. 
With only 820 grams, 1.8 pounds, it is a pretty light model and much higher quality than the heavy aluminum paddles of cheaper paddle boarding sets. Switchable Double Action Pump with Pressure Gauge In double action mode, you can pump air into the board both when pulling up and pushing down. In the beginning, you can create most of the volume in a short time in this mode. Later on, the back pressure becomes higher and higher, so we recommend that you switch the pump to single action mode with the small lever. This reduces the effort required because you are only pumping air into the board when you push the handle down. In addition, the pump can also deflate. The achieved pressure valves can be read comfortably on the display manometer from a certain threshold value. The feet can be folded so the model takes up less space in the trolley. Coiled Leash this spiral-shaped leash connects you to the board at the ankle or below the knee via a sturdy Velcro cuff. If you fall in the water, it stretches to a full 10-inch length, about 305 centimeters, and keeps your board close to you. Repair Kit This small kit consists of color-matched PVC patches and a valve wrench. Unfortunately, the glue is missing so you can repair small damages to the board directly yourself. With the valve wrench, you can check the valve for tightness and replace it in case of a defect. How long does it take to inflate the Moai 11 all-rounder? With the included double action pump, it took us 5 minutes to reach the recommended 15 PSI. Is the board suitable for beginners? That depends on your preferences. If you are very sporty and like to give up some tipping stability to reach higher speed, then the Moai 11 all-round is perfect for you. However, if you want great basic stability, you might want to go for a much wider all-rounder board. Can I ride the Moai 11 all-round in waves? Yes, with its nose rocker, the board glides easily over smaller waves. However, shorter boards are a bit better for bigger waves, as they are easier to turn. Conclusion The Moai 11 is not a classic all-arounder. Rather, it closes the gap between all-rounder and touring boards within the manufacturer's board range. The board combines versatility with a really fast ride, which is also fun for advanced riders. Qualitatively, the lightweight and innovative Fusion construction is absolutely up-to-date and the build quality is also impressive. That's exactly why it landed on the first place in this year's SUP review in the category of lightweight paddle boards. In terms of features, however, some paddlers would definitely appreciate additional handles and D-rings for a seat. The accessory package, however, is a real plus point of the set. Especially the paddle boarding trolley backpack and the fiberglass paddle are definitely worth mentioning here. The price-performance ratio is therefore very attractive overall and you get a very good complete set for your money. We really hope this video was helpful for you. Feel free to leave us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. In the video description, we have linked a lot more useful information for you besides the matching offer. Have a look right now.